panda plushie is now available at thepandagirl.com. Hey Pandawandas, today we are going to be doing another mega build battle. Today's build battle is going to be different aesthetics themed bedrooms. We are going to have six people building, including myself, so seven people in total. Everyone is each going to have one aesthetic they are going to be representing. Everyone here is already in their outfit that is representing their aesthetic, except me, so I should probably change. Ooh. There we go, much better. Let's take a look at the aesthetics everyone is doing. Soph is doing grudge skater aesthetic. Anna is doing kawaii. Cece is doing vintage. I am doing fairy core, cottage core. Ali is doing elegant. Marley is doing soft girl. And Coral is doing indie aesthetic. Now let's take a quick look at the rules. You must build a bedroom that represents your aesthetic. You are allowed to build a bathroom if you wish. No time limit. Two floors is the maximum amount of floors you can use. Only build in the given 8x8 space. And most importantly, have fun. Now it's time to give everyone a co-owner. I think we are ready to go. It's all up to you to choose who you think did the best. So make sure to watch till the end and say your favorite build down below in the comments. Let's go into build mode. Everyone will be choosing their plots by coloring a square. I'm doing green because green represents my fairy core cottage core aesthetic. Now that everyone has claimed their square, we are ready to go. Ready, set, build. So what I wanted to start out for this bedroom was my bed. Originally, I had no idea what I was doing. Once again, as always in all my mega build battles, but you know, this time I actually knew what I was doing. So on Pinterest, I found this little canopy type of bed with some rustic, I don't know, it had like fences on the sides. I'll put a picture in over here and this is what I was going for. So I basically used these chairs or comforters, whatever you want to call them, as my bed because they had these modern pillows that I really wanted on the bed and I was like you know what I'll use this instead of an actual bed because it looks better and we'll just pretend it is a bed so that's what I went for here and I'm basically going to try recreating this image with also going for the aesthetic of a cottage core and also fairy core bedroom up at this fence gate that I had spoken about building and now I'm going to be using these potted vine plants over here that hang over. I feel like this really screams aesthetic cottage core fairy core. I loved how it turned out. I then added some fairy lights for extra decoration and continue decorating this bed area. In this corner over here, I'm using these custom shapes in order to make these suitcase type of things. I'm going to be using decals later on to make like the little clip handle in the front. But right now they just look like old boxes and that's what I was going for. To give a frame feeling of the bed, I'm going to be putting these fence gates once again on this side and duplicating it in order to make it feel like an enclosed space and a little corner to actually get into the bed. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be 
back of my bed, I wanted to add curtains, but they actually didn't have curtains. So I was like, okay, so I'll use a door frame and then close the curtains out of build mode. And it actually turned out even better than I expected. Take a look at this. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Above the bed, I wanted a canopy type of feeling. So I tried using this string so that it would loop down underneath unfortunately it didn't look like how i wanted it to and the string was very thin so i needed to place a ton of them but i ended up using rods on top of the string in order to give it the canopy type of feeling on both ends of the bed some vines hanging down from the bed so it wouldn't look out of place I guess so I added these shelves on top and I'm going to be closing them with some custom shapes so that the pots of the vines won't show but that will be later on and right now I'm just scattering the plots so it looks very mystical and that's what I was going for before here i am using custom shapes to close in the pots so we won't see it from the outside and it looks like a normal bed without having random pots on top of the bed hanging down oh my god i have no idea why but i wanted to add like this book on top of the bed so it looked like it was just lying open to give it a little bit more decoration and feel like it's a messy cottage core bedroom i don't know but it looks so good i know it's a very minor detail but i loved it so much and now i'm going to be extending this wall so that i can add a desk to the left of the bed So for the desk area, I found this inspiration photo on Pinterest and I thought it would fit very well. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. But before I added some of these like new archway type of things above the bed connecting both the fences together so that it would look like an arch type of doorway going into the bed. I also added the arches to the windows because I felt like the oval type of feel for the windows would give it a more old fashioned type of look. And that's what I was going for since my theme is like a cottage core bedroom. For this build, basically these transparent decals are going to be my best friend. You'll see what I mean later on, especially in the tour, you'll see all the decals that I used. It's pretty crazy, but I loved this build so much. I was so proud of it at the end. Anyways, what I was gonna say is that for this window, I added a decal outside because I'm going to have those old fashioned like vintage crisscross windows. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just ignore what I'm saying. But anyways, here I am decorating or starting to decorate the desk area. I can be in there when you're miles away. Once again, here I am adding in a shelf above the window and I'm going to be putting in these vines above the window and have them drooping down. up the 
vine shelf, I then go on to decorate this shelf that is a cool hexagon shape and I thought brought lots of character into the bedroom, even though it's a small shelf. And then I added a clock and some decoration to it. For some reason, I was really feeling this theme and I was having so much fun building and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna build the bathroom and we're going to ace this build battle theme. So what I'm doing over here is I'm adding some walls so that I could get an idea of where I could add a bathroom to this build. So for the bathroom, I wanted to have this old fashioned type of cottage feel to it. Of course, since cottage core, you know, the aesthetic. Anyways, so what I'm do doing is I'm using this wooden bath mat above the bathtub. So it could be one of those bath things that like extend over the bathtub. And then you like put your, your mug or a book or a candle or something. I don't know, it's fancy. So that's what I did over here. Thankfully, it floated above the bathtub. And now I'm going to be decorating it a bit with adding some wind and getting a feel of what else I could add into the bathroom. Because I wanted the bathroom and the actual bedroom to match the aesthetic and feel like it's the part of the same build, I decided to copy these gate fence area things that I made over there on the bed and put them into the bathroom. So it is fencing in the bathtub, which I think looked so good. I was so proud of it. Oh my God, I can't, I can't express it enough. is not just the bathtub so over here i'm adding in some counter spaces and getting an idea of where i could put the counters the sink the mirror and the toilet Another reason why I added a bathroom into my build for a bedroom build battle is because of the new bathroom items that Bloxburg recently added. I was so excited to use them in an actual build. So I tried my best to incorporate all the new items and accessories that they added. is so much out of my comfort zone because I'm not used to using these type of textures on the wall and stuff like that. But for some reason, this day when I was building, I was just going full at it. I'm like, okay, this is my new style. I'm gonna be using this right now. And I loved how it turned out. The bathroom it was so much fun to decorate because of the new items that were added. The new soaps and the towels and everything else was so much fun to incorporate into the bathroom and so much easier to decorate. Anyways, so here I am adding some accessories and items and plants whenever I have a chance and just coloring things to fit the theme. At this point, 
point, I had no more ideas to continue decorating the inside of the bedroom and bathroom, so I decided to go to the outside. I had some ideas such as adding in my very own chimney to the build. I know the outside of the build doesn't really count for the build battle, but I just wanted to go above and beyond because I was loving this theme so much that I wanted to do the extra mile. So here I am using some custom shapes to build my chimney. the chimney to be realistic so I added an actual chimney inside of my DIY chimney so it would have some smoke coming out of it and look like an actual cottage house. the chimney I then went on to add some roofing on top of my build so that I could start coloring and texturizing everything else. For the roof I decided to go for some colors that I feel like a cottage would be along with some concrete ceilings and outside colors. So I went on to line the roof with some wooden beams and then I added in these new structural arch type of beams and then I added the wooden beams to connect from the roof to the arch and it made it look like a cottage house. I was really proud of it. I don't know how I pulled this off, but it looked so good. And for some reason, it reminded me of Snow White. That's probably because of the cottage type of feel I'm going for. But I, I just thought I'd put that out there. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm going back inside into decorating. This corner was empty, so I decided I'm going to be adding like this messy bookcase idea and adding some random spices and books going in all directions, making it look messy because I feel like an old fashioned cottage core house would probably have this. Now I put on some flooring into the bedroom space. This is the texture that I ended up using and then I continue decorating with some more fairy lights and then adding color to certain places and some more decoration. I'm going to be adding some shelves over here right next to the chimney because it was also empty and we can have no empty space in this build. wanted to have more of these vined areas around the bedroom because I it was one of my favorite ways of decoration so I decided to duplicate these shelves above here and then I'm going to be using the custom shapes that I used before in order to cover the pots and make it look like it's actual vines coming from the outside. Over here was also empty, so I got the idea of adding in this ledge arched window. I don't know if that made any sense, but you'll, you'll see what I mean once again. And so I'm adding this transparent decal that I'm going to be copying the design of the window for the other windows. And now I am going to continue adding in some flooring and the roof to the actual build. I needed to match the front decoration of the roof of the bedroom. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just YOLO this with some wooden beams and add the decoration. So that's what I'm doing is trying to spice up the build a little bit. these grades over here to this custom shape I'm trying to go for a radiator type of feel and then over here is going to be a decal of a cat because cottage core and fairy core I always imagine like a window open and a cat sitting right next to it I have no idea why and then I added this decoration of a hanging plant because I thought it was a cute idea 
build mode and added in a few decals that I thought would fit this theme. Over here, I added some bags and I'm going to be having them hang from this little like rack. And then on the left, as you can see, my little cat's decal loaded in. And that's what I meant with the cat on top of the radiator. Also the window design loaded in. And that's the design I was speaking about earlier on. what I'm doing now is I'm using the decals that I had loaded in and I'm just scattering them around the house so that it would look more realistic and that's the feeling I'm going for along with seeing what else I could add in to decorate the bedroom. can tell now I'm going back into the bathroom and I continue adding in some decals and some more decorations because I did not want it to feel empty. I continued adding in some decals and decoration pretty much around the build outside of the build and wherever I thought would fit well. Here I am adding some decoration to the desk area because of the theme that I had, the fairy core, cottage core. I wanted to have a desk area that would like represent like the old fashioned style. I don't know if that make any sense, but basically I'm adding a bunch of newspapers, old fashioned vintage colors, I guess I'm going for. So that's what I'm doing right here. I had no other ideas of what to add on the inside of the build and although the outside of the build doesn't really count for the theme and the judging since it's a bedroom build battle I still went ahead and decorated the outside so basically to put it into simple terms I'm decorating the windows outside of the cottage house forgot that Bloxburg actually added in real vines for the walls so I took advantage of them and I resized them I put them around the build not too much but not too little so it looked like it was an actual cottage because when I think of a cottage I think of overgrown vines on the walls outside and inside So I'll admit, I basically like put any random like item that I saw that I wanted to incorporate into the build outside of my house. So it is a little bit messy outside in the front garden, but we're just going to ignore that because I do manage to organize it. But now I'm adding in these stepping stones and changing their sizes to make a pathway to the front where I'm going to be adding a gate later on or like a fenced in area. These stones were like chef's kiss they looked amazing i don't know not to hype myself up or anything but i really loved how it turned out Do not fear, I know these are a lot of decals. As I said earlier, I do add a bunch of decals, especially outside on the front area. This is because I'm going to be remaking my realistic looking bushes from a video that I made a few months ago. I'm going to be changing the decals into bushes and flowers and it's gonna look so good. I promise you, I promise you. Even though it doesn't look right, look good right now. You'll, you'll see what I mean. continue decorating the outside I'm going to be adding a little pond area type of 
thing outside of my build. I did still have space in my 8x8 eight eight area, so I took full advantage of it. I added a different color grass because I feel like the darker grass is going to look better for a cottage build. I don't know. That's just me. So that's what I did. And now I continue decorating the outside and the pond area. went ahead and duplicated the vines from the inside into the outside above my windows so it would look like I had vines hanging down from my windows and it would look cool outside and even inside of the build. decorating my pond i added some lily pads inside of the pond area a little frog some rocks lining the pond and then i'm going to be using these wooden bath mats again they're so useful literally you could use them for anything and they look so good and it looks so aesthetic anyways i'm going to be using them as like a little cross over of a bridge instead of using custom shapes to make this Once I semi-finished up decorating the outside garden, I then went back inside and I continued adding some items onto the bookcase so it wouldn't look empty and added that messy type of feeling that I was going for. Over here, I'm adding in some more fairy lights across the top of the bedroom because I felt like the roof was kind of empty other than this pattern of concrete that I had texturized on the roof. And then I added in these confetti garlands type of things and colored them into looking like vines. like a cottage should have like a fenced in area so that's what i was doing over here i added a fence outside and decorated it into like a texture of wood to make it feel like an old-fashioned cottage house At this point, I was basically just playing around with my decals and trying to see what I could add into the bedroom, whether decals would make it look more realistic. But other than that, I was pretty much done with my fairy core, cottage core, bedroom and bathroom. So without further ado, it is time for your favorite time of mine. It is tour time. Make sure to join my Discord server for a chance to be in my next mega build battle. And you seem to agree with me But when there's complications You withdraw and leave me to be When there's a problem You become like a wall And every time I trip It's a free fall Why don't you have
build battle. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to join my Discord for a chance to be in the next mega build battle. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be a part of the Pandawana Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girls out!